Hey there, and welcome to M Human Character Base Tool Instructions. Um, quick disclaimer Quixel Bridge nor Matter Humans are affiliated with the product M Human Character Base Tool. It's a glutility that automates the process of exporting MetaHuman actor data into a playable Unreal Engine character. In the project, you'll see a maps folder um, with an example map. And inside the example map, you'll see a blue utility. Um, and you'll need to run this script. The setup underneath the default as you once you have it highlighted in the map. And this is going to set everything up. Um, folder structure, common directory, etc. with what Quixel Bridge expects in order for the actor data to export and be usable within the character base tool set. You'll see that the character base is empty and there is a mhuman data reference within the character class. Um, you'll also have a game mode blueprint here that you can set on your world settings to automatically have the default spawn, uh, default pawn character as the M human character base. Anyway, we'll go ahead and highlight the blutility and run setup. So you just click it, hit this button, and allow this process to complete. Um, this is going to keep everything that Quixel Bridge expects. Uh, for the exported actor references to have everything pointed to the character base correctly once the exports complete and you set the reference within the character base tool class. This process shouldn't take too long and when it's done it should clean up your directory structure for you. Just be patient with it. few more seconds now. Once this process completes, you should see the content directory refresh with the folder structure that Quixel Bridge is going to expect for the actor exports. just about there and I appreciate your patience um, I know this can take a little bit of time Okay, we should now have the folder structure that Quixel Bridge expects, and your tool set, uh, tool set folder should now be cleaned up and set up for everything to function. From this point, you would go into Quixel Bridge, and you would simply export one of these uh, metahuman characters. It's going to create an actor asset with the name of the character that it exports gives you a successful notification and you'll have some export settings I'm just gonna go with 2k for now and of course under general settings you'll have um, 
you know, Unreal Engine as your export tar target. So we'll hop back over into the engine. We'll double click the character here. We'll update the character to the exported actor reference that it just built, and then we'll hit compile. And once you're done with this, that's it. That's what the tool set does, right? So you can save, you hit play, and you'll see I now have a metahuman character exported into the engine, easily playable. Um, again, it's a work first force. Uh, it is a workflow efficiency tool. <clears throat> there are no characters in this tool whatsoever. You will have to take care of that export process yourself, but it will work multiple times. So I can come back over here, export another character. Once this process completes, you can hop back over into the engine, go back to the tool set, go back to the character, mhuman character tool, data reference, <clears throat> update it to the newly exported character, hit compile, come back, hit play, and here we go. We are in the engine with a playable character uh, set up and ready to go. Hopefully this speeds up your workflow process and allows you to get to a uh, you know, startable position within your project relatively quickly. Um, thank you so much for your time and I hope that you guys enjoy the pack. Goodbye.